dealing with infections, once a tooth has been extracted, bacteria will still be alive in the mouth, even more so with those who have bad oral hygiene. Infections are very common following extractions, depending on how bad the tooth was that the dentist removed it. He may prescribe you some antibiotics to take that will greatly reduce your risk of getting an infection. In some cases though, even antibiotics can't prevent an infection. If you go to the dentist before the extraction experienced swelling of the face, swollen gums, pain in your teeth under light pressure, or bleeding around the extraction site, then you may already have an infection. If you indeed have an infection before you get the tooth treated, the dentist will prescribe you antibiotics to use following treatment. If you have a really bad abscess, you'll need to use antibiotics to treat the infection before the dentist will remove the tooth. In some cases, people develop an infection after the extraction even though they may not have been infected beforehand. The reason for this is bacteria. Following an extraction, bacteria will be more alive in the mouth than ever before. With the extraction site being exposed, the bacteria will be able to get into the site. This can lead to an infection due to the site being exposed and the fact that you are unable to use mouthwash or brush during the first 24 to 48 hours. Not being able to sterilize your mouth means that you are unable to kill the germs responsible for bacteria. After extractions, the first sign of infection is renewed bleeding. This normally occurs around 48 hours after the extraction. Even though it normally isn't severe, you shish. Your dentist will be able to stop the bleeding and give you some antibiotics and other prescriptions that will fix the problem. Some dentists prefer to give patients antibiotics before they will do any type of extraction. Although you may not have an abscess, most dentists prefer to get rid of the infection before they start doing their work. They do this because they know the local anesthesia won't work all that well with infections and it may take them a lot of work and a lot of medicine to numb the area that you have the infection in. In the event that the tooth has to be removed and the dentist simply cannot wait a few days, it is possible to get you numbed. Although it will take quite a bit of medicine to numb the area, it can be done. Sometimes dentists will choose to use an IV sedation or laughing gas in the event that local numbing doesn't help. An IV sedation will normally put you to sleep or knock you out so that the dentist can remove the tooth that is causing you so much trouble. Even though infections can cause a lot of pain and need to be dealt with immediately, you may not have to take antibiotics once the dentist has extracted the tooth. If your mouth is clean and you don't have a lot of germs, you can normally heal the wound by taking care of it. Rinsing your mouth out with salt water for the first few days will keep the extraction site clean. As long as you take care of the extraction site and do what your dentist tells you, you shouldn't have any further problems with the extraction site or the infection.